Is your antivirus showing IDP genetic virus detection? In this video, you will know what IDP generic virus is and how to remove it. If you are getting this detection for a legitimate program, we have also included how to stop the false positive IDP generic virus detection. Before we start this guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. What is IDP generic virus? The IDP stands for Identity Theft Protection. IDP generic virus is not a single threat. It is a common threat name used to denote identity theft malware. Avast and AVG antiviruses use it to detect software that can cause identity theft. Such software seems legit from the front, but they are rigged with the Trojan to provide backdoor access to the hackers. Then they might steal your personal and confidential information that will result in identity theft. Usually such software is the cracked one. The premium cracked software that you install for free could be the reason for your identity theft. If your antivirus finds such a program on your PC, it will display the IDP generic virus detection. How does the IDP generic virus work? IDP generic virus stays silent in your system. It records your activity and keeps sending it to the hackers. The hackers could also access your PC and use it to perform illicit activities. They can also steal your banking login details and credit card information and then transfer all your money. You cannot realize a thing because it is bundled with the software you installed, considering it a legitimate program. How did I get the IDP generic virus? The most common method of spreading the IDP generic virus is by bundling it with pirated and free software. Though, cybercriminals use several other tactics to infect your PC with the virus. They can send you the virus using emails and social media. When you click on that link, the virus enters your PC. They might trick you into downloading the malware using fake websites and pop-ups also. How to remove the IDP generic virus To remove the IDP generic virus, you have to examine your PC thoroughly. Follow the steps in their order to remove it completely. Remove pirated and unwanted software the first step to remove the IDP generic virus from your PC is to remove the pirated and unwanted software because this virus enters your PC with the help of this software. To remove them, click on Start and type Control Panel. Open it. Then click on Uninstall a program. You will see the list of all installed programs. The first thing you should do is click on Installed on to sort it and then remove the recently installed program. The last program that you have installed might be the culprit. Select the program and click on the Uninstall button, then follow the instructions to remove it. If you have installed any pirated or cracked software, find them and uninstall them also. Another thing you can do to identify the culprit program is checking the detection of the antivirus. Your antivirus will show which program it is detecting, so you can find and remove that program. Now observe the installed programs list and remove the one that you don't need or don't remember installing. Delete temporary files. The identity theft viruses often hide in temporary files. From there, they can restore themselves, so you have to clear your temporary files. To do that, click on the Start menu and type Disk Cleanup. Click on it to open. Click OK. Now deselect everything and select Temporary Internet Files and Temporary Files. Click OK, then confirm your action by clicking on Delete Files. Reset your browsers. Now you have to clean the infection from your browsers. The identity theft viruses could hijack the settings of your browser and keep tracking your activity. It could also be in the form of a browser add-on or extension, so you should reset the browsers to their default setting to completely clean them. To reset the settings of Google Chrome, click on the Menu button, then Settings, Advanced, then click on Restore Settings to their original defaults. Now confirm your action. To reset the settings of Mozilla Firefox, click on the Menu button, then Help. Then click on Troubleshooting Information. Now click on Refresh Firefox. Now click on Refresh Firefox again to confirm your action. If you are using Microsoft Edge, open the menu, then go to Settings. Click on Reset Settings from the left sidebar. 
Now click on Restore Settings to their default values. Then confirm your action by clicking on the Reset button. Scan with Anti-Malware If you are getting the IDP generic virus detection on the Avast or AVG, you can rescan your PC with that to make sure the virus is gone. To double sure that your PC is completely clean, you should scan it with Anti-Malware. You can use MalwareFox Anti-Malware. It is a light anti-malware that works on the heuristic approach to catch modern computer threats. Download it from the link in the description. Now install it. Press the scan button. Malwarefox can easily detect spyware, keyloggers, trojans, rootkits, ransomware, and adware. Once the scan is completed, click on Next to remove the threats. Do you think the detected program is not a virus? If you have installed a legitimate program and your antivirus detects it as an IDP generic virus, it could be a false positive detection. To make sure your program is clean, you can scan it on the virus total. Upload your program and see the result. If none of the antivirus engines detect it, then it's a false positive detection. You can simply add it in the exception and then run the program. You can also report it as a false positive. They will analyze your program and clear it in the next update. How to avoid such threats in the future To avoid threats like the IDP generic virus in the future, you should follow some safe internet practices. Install the reputed anti-malware and regularly scan your device. Do not download pirated, cracked, or free software from the unofficial site. Always download the program from the official website. You should not click on the links or open attachments from spam emails. Keep all of your software in Windows up to date. Make sure your security software has the latest virus definitions. Do not click on the pop-ups you see on shady websites. These websites may trick you into installing malicious extensions that will infect your PC with IDP generic viruses. If you follow these tips, you can easily protect your PC from the threats like IDP generic. That's it for this video. If it does help you, press the like button and share the video with your friends. We keep uploading videos related to computer security, so subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to make sure you don't miss anything.